What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Mo T. And it's time for 5 Minutes Cigar Review. Except this is not a review. This is more like infotainment. A little information for you. This is something I actually addressed before, but there's a couple other things that came up. Now, I might speak a little fast because I want to get this done in as close to 5 minutes as I possibly can. And I got a few things I want to discuss. Uh, first off, smoking in my car, which is the subject. I uh, addressed this a while back, but there's been some other people who've come to me friends mainly like hey man you gotta be careful smoking and especially videotaping in your car so for a lot of you who may or may not know back in the day i used to hold the phone in one hand drive with the other hand smoke and all that stuff but now i got myself a little suction cuppy thing sticks to the window holds the phone some hands free with the phone part with the uh, video part the other thing is uh while i'm smoking in the car the smell a couple things i do first off is i buy some of these little pad these little pod things that uh, make the car smell good. Whatever kind of air freshener you want to use, is a, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you like, I suggest you do that. Secondly, I, sorry, I'm driving and I gotta pay attention as I'm talking about it. Um, and I addressed this in the last video that I talked about smoking in the car. I either crack my window, or since I have a sunroof, I do that. Sunroof works better if you got multiple people in the car. Cracking your window, you should crack the window closest to the person who's smoking. If you got multiple smokers, you're gonna have a little bit harder time with that. The other thing is you gotta turn the air on in your car, um, the fan on in your car, so that it blows from the top by the windshield and the feet. Now, I don't know why I've uh, played with all the different configurations, you know, in the face, on the feet, all that stuff, and this is the one that seems to work best. For some reason, it seems to create enough pressure pushing out that it pushes the, the smoke out, and as you're driving, there, I guess it's low pressure that pulls the air out of there. I'm not sure. Somebody who understands the mathematics and the, uh, uh, I don't know, the weather, you know, you can explain that to, you know, aerodynamics and all that stuff. So that's what you do with that. Now, as far as, like, the other thing that came up was how do you light, how do you cut, and what do you do with your ash? Well, ash is easy. You can just toss that out the window. Or you can get one of these things, like a little ashtray because most cars don't have ashtrays anymore this one's got a little place to put your cigar fits in your cup holder and there you go that's what you can do with your ash as far as lighting and cutting cutting and lighting one of the things i suggest is if your car has a center console of some sort put your cutter and your lighter in the same place all the time so you don't have to search for it because what you don't want to do is be looking down while you're driving looking for those things you got a glance down that's one thing but you don't want to be searching for your cutter and your light put those someplace where all you got to do is reach down grab those things and you're good to go as far as cutting you can do a couple things one you can do all those things before you start driving but if you like me and you're driving and all of a sudden you think oh i wouldn't mind having a cigar grab your cigar and then you got to cut it and light it while you're driving so what I do, or no, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I do because I do things differently in this case. Sometimes I wait till I get to a stop stoplight. Uh, sometimes I take a chance and I would drive with my knees. I wouldn't suggest that, but I know many of you do that already. Sometimes I just hold the cutter in one hand. Hold on. Quick demonstration, kind of. Cutter in one hand put my elbow or my wrist on the steering wheel and here's the tricky part because sometimes you got to follow your wrist you know like this while you're cutting as you're driving and you just cut it and the same thing with lighting except lighting after you sort of scorch the foot you just hold that in your mouth like that and light just be careful not to burn your face because you can't you shouldn't stare at the lighters, you got to know where the cigar is. You don't want to put that lighter up here to your nose. Next thing you know, those torch lighters will burn it right off. So those are just some suggestions, some ideas. And I suggest that if you're a person who likes smoking in your car, you kind of figure things out. But be careful, obviously. You don't want to be, again, cutting and lighting and not paying attention to the road. Next thing you know, you're sitting in somebody's back seat. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. Like I said, I want to try to keep this as close to five minutes as I possibly could. Uh, hope you guys got a little bit of information out of this. Um, if you have any other questions about what I do as far as smoking in the car, feel free to give me a little shout-out. Or not a shout-out. 
comment in the uh, comment section. Also, if you enjoyed this or any of my videos, and even if you didn't and you just want to support a brother, please like and subscribe. Uh, eventually, if YouTube goes back to monetizing tobacco product stuff, I would like to make a little money off of this, but you know, it's, that's not why I'm doing it. I do it mainly because I just enjoy talking about cigars. So share these videos, like and subscribe, and all that jazz. So y'all will see me soon. Peace out and good luck and stay smoky or something like that. I don't know. Peace out.